Okay, what I'm going to show you today is some maintenance work on uh, dryers and another segment on washers. Like anything else, you've got to use uh, proper safety precautions. Here's some here, for example, here's uh, hearing protection. Uh, we'll be using a leaf blower in some of the segments and it makes a lot of noise. Uh, dust protection. Uh, with the leaf blower, it kicks up a lot of dust and even when you're working with a vacuum or digging around, you know, you could pick up a lot of lint in the air. So best to use uh, lung protection. Eye protection, uh, safety glasses would be a good thing to use. Uh, we find uh, using a headlight, either this uh, low cost one or this fancy schmancy one, which my son got me, which has got a battery in the back. And, uh, th these work great to be able to see what you're doing. But even uh, wearing it on your head, you'll find there'll be times where you'll take it off and use it to move it around inside the dryer to see what you're doing. Anything I'm showing you is my own experience. I'm not a journeyman. I have no uh, formal education in this area. It's just stuff I picked up through the years on my own and watching other YouTube videos. So you're watching this with no warranty or liability of any kind. This is an eight-year-old dryer. And at the two-year point, I decided to move the vent pipe going out the back to have it go up the side so I could put the dryer closer to the wall. And to do that, I had to take the whole blinking thing apart. You would think it'd be easy, but it wasn't. So at that two-year point, when I took it apart, I cleaned it out totally on the inside. And then when I put the vent pipe in, I put all new piping taped with metal uh, vent tape, not the gray stuff. Since then, every two years, I've again cleaned the dryer. As I'll mention in the video, at the two-year point, when I first took it apart, I found a hard lump of lint at the bottom left-hand corner, about the size of a person's fist. Uh, at the four-year point, I took it apart again, and there was no lint there, so I don't know why, but that's a good thing. At the six-year point, I used a leaf blower, as you'll see later on, and it just blew out the the area in here. Once I had vacuumed it, I then blew it out. And today is the eight-year point, so we'll be taking the dryer uh, apart as part of that, just to see how effective my procedures have been. Again, this is my experience with this dryer, and it may not be the same experience you're going to have with your dryer, because I have no idea how old your dryer is, how much lint is in it, and what the condition of your vent pipe is. We're fortunate in our area in that a lot of our dryers have a vent pipe that goes up perhaps eight feet and outside. But there are some locations, like if you're in a condo building, where your vent pipe might be going 20, 30 feet, running horizontal. And that's a whole different story. So I always recommend that you get a professional to do this kind of work. Now with this style of dryer, um, it's a fairly large throat here. and You can see some of the crap in here, the lint. Of course, it goes further down, which you can't really reach. So we have a couple of um, tools that we're going to use to clean that out without having to disassemble the dryer. Uh, you can get these tools at a vacuum cleaner place. First one here is a lint catching brush, which you could use to shove in this uh, area, move it around to catch lint, which has got some on here. The other one, which again is at a oops, dropped that in the washing machine. Uh, the other one you can get is a, um, a longer crevice tool. This particular one was 20 bucks at the uh, vacuum cleaner shop. Uh, that's where I got this one anyway. And it can be used to go in here and clean out a lot better into this area. Here's a kit you can buy to clean the vent and your dryer. It comes with a, uh, a long crevice tool. It also has a, whoops, a wire um, thing that can go down into the, into the vent on the dryer. And then it has this guy which goes down the vent pipe. The only thing I don't know about this guy is how it's going to work if this brush, or this end, this uh, solid end, runs into a 90 degree turn of some non-rigid vent pipe. I could see it possibly poking a hole in it, like uh, if it was the um, 
the kind that's wire wrapped around a heavy vinyl, or well, of course those you shouldn't use at all, or wire wrapped around a, a heavy um, um, flexible metal. So I don't know about that, but uh, anyway, that's what they have for the do-it-yourself types. I laid these two crevice tools out, and you can see that the one you get in this box is far longer than uh, the one I got at the vacuum store, so this may be your better bet. The other thing you got to watch for is different vacuums have different size hose ends. These, these two both have the same size, but when we tried using the tool on another fellow's uh, upright vacuum, and the, uh, this crevice tool didn't fit on, so we had to tape it on, which was kind of hokey. This tool is handy not only for cleaning out the, um, the area inside your dryer, but also for going under appliances. Uh, like the kitchen fridge, stove, and so on. It's got a multitude of uses. With this particular dryer, because uh, I've taken it apart before, I know that the fan is down here. And so I'm uh, making sure that when I'm, I'm vacuuming, that I'm paying it, oh, and of course the uh, power's off when I'm doing it. I'm making sure that I'm vacuuming down where this fan is. Uh, because what I found when I first took this dryer apart, um, the, there's a, a sort of a V-shaped um, chute that went down to the opening here where the fan was, and it turned 90 degrees. And right where it turned, there was a hard chunk of lint. Um, and I'm guessing that because when the lint comes from the dryer, it's damp and wet, or wet and damp, same thing. And it would come down here, and if it hit the edge of the metal, it could fuse itself to the metal. All I know is that I had this rock-hard hunk of lint there that didn't look good to me. I cleaned it out, and since then, about every two years, I've taken the dryer apart and looked, and there was no further accumulation of lint. So, third option. Some say MacGyver, but uh, this is a leaf blower, and you can use it. Uh, it's going to create a heck of a mess, but uh, you can use it once you've cleaned this out with your vacuum attachment to take most of the lint out. You can use the, the leaf blower to blow into this area to force the lint that is in the vent pipe out to the outside. The only thing is, if lint has built up in this pipe for any length of time, this guy is probably not going to dislodge it, but if your pipe has been uh, cleaned fairly regularly, it's my guess that it would keep it uh, cleaner. Still, what you, in an ideal situation, you would disconnect the vent from the dryer down at the bottom there and check it visually to make sure that it's clean. They also make little brushes that you can use that, well, not little brushes, they're a brush um, that's on a long wire that can be used to feed up through this pipe. You'll, you'll notice that the joints of the pipe I have taped and that's because you don't want to be using screws because the screw will tend to catch lint on the tip of the screw. And the type of tape I'm using is the shiny metal tape. It's not the, what they call duct tape, which is the gray cloth stuff that really is a pain because the, um, uh, that stuff will dry out. Okay, so let's try vacuuming that. Uh, we're going to use this long extension again, and with luck, of course, we discover that it won't fit onto the vacuum that this guy's got. So we're going to use some metal tape to tape it onto the vacuum. Okay, so this will be a little noisy and a little dusty because dust is going to be flying everywhere. What I'm going to get you to do, Tammy, though, is to, uh, well, I mentioned that I turned off the power with, uh, when I'm going to use a leaf blower, I'm going to have the dryer running 
so that its fan is blowing uh, the lint that may get dislodged outside. And then the idea of this leaf blower is it's going to further remove lint. So I'm going to turn the dryer on, yeah, and then have you just turn this a quarter turn so the dryer starts. And again, you know, we don't do this with kids around and don't do it if you feel uncomfortable. You can see lint, you know, blowing all over the place here. And